much for coming. Anyone who's ever heard me speak about one of our greatest assets, the arts, knows how passionate I am to be a part of a community that does not take it for granted. Many of us have chosen to be a part of Lake Worth because the arts are a natural, organic happening that has grown here for a century. With no disrespect to other communities, many of them have had to create artistic corridors to take full advantage of that. Our entire city is an arts district. And while some of the most affluent communities in our county may be where fine art is sold, no doubt, Lake Worth is where it's created. It's part of our DNA. As far back as 75 years ago, the Lake Worth Art League opened its doors to provide beauty and culture to pioneer families settling into a new life in our rugged and balmy terrain. Congratulations, Art League, on your 75th anniversary this year. Our world-renowned street painting festival is in its 23rd year, right? 24th. 24th year! thousand visitors over a two-day period every single year and artists from all over the globe lend their skills in transforming our streets into a creative palette of chalk art that graces our downtown just as long as mother nature will allow it <laughs> and more recently our first second and now third installation of the urban arts lofts provides workspace and affordable housing for local artists when others said it couldn't be done these projects have filled rapidly with waiting lists the norm. And just this year, inaugural Biblio Arte event attracted world-renowned artist Adele Rodriguez. Now you may understand why some national news providers have dubbed Lake Worth the Soho of the South. <laughs> Although I think we're a little bit more Greenwich Village, don't you think? Yeah. <laughs> On behalf of myself, Vice Mayor Scott Maxwell, Vice Mayor Pro Tem Andy Amoroso, Commissioner Herman Robinson, and Commissioner Omari Hardy, City Manager Michael Bornstein, who's here today, and the entire staff of our amazing Lake Worth team, the Cultural Council and CRA, I am very pleased to announce that the Canvas Outdoor Museum Show will be expanding from West Palm Beach to Lake Worth. The Canvas Outdoor Museum Show has been billed as the nation's largest outdoor show and will bring world-renowned contemporary artists, collectors, and art influencers to the streets of Lake Worth all year long. It brings me great pleasure to introduce to you the founder and curator of the Candace Canvas Outdoor Museum, Nicole Henry.
So those are the videos from last year, and it gives you an example of what we plan to do in Lake Worth this year. We're so excited about that. And we brought you the deck, which will explain Canvas Art Charities, our nonprofit, is what puts on the Canvas Outdoor Museum show. So we raise money, and then we bring in these artists to create these unbelievable murals and 3D installations. And we have artists that come in from around the world. So this year, our theme is going to be unity and how art brings people together. So we're going to have a very diverse background of artists. And then we're going to have events that help raise money to bring Canvas here. And then we also talk about the impact that we have um, for the media. And we've gotten some really great national press as well as local coverage, which we plan to bring to Lake Worth. And we've also done a lot of great things with grand collaborations with Canvas and have wonderful cultural partners and programs that happen around Canvas, which is great. Um, one of the videos you saw from Canvas Kids Day where we brought the kids from Place of Hope. And we had a launch intention ceremony where they learned about what an intention was. They wrote their intentions down and then they launched them into the universe. So we plan on bringing the plane that Griffin Luke created down to Lake Ward and doing a similar ceremony here. And then we talked about how important, as you all know, art and culture is for the area. And so we're super excited to um, start with you this year. Any questions? <laughs> what does the timeline look like? So we're going to have the artists come in November 26th, and they'll be here working all week till December 2nd, and then everything will be completed on December 2nd. How many projects will there be? So we're going to have 10 artists come in. Uh, there's going to be some installations and sculpture as well as murals. Yes. What are some of the locations? Uh, so we have a map um, that maybe we can bring up here. <coughs> okay. So we're we haven't had them approved yet, but we're working on um, all the way from the beach area down to the city hall area and up through. Um, Dixie and the Design Center. So it'll really encompass all of the city. Yes? Will the installations remain after? Yes, they will. And that's one of the things that's so important to the Outdoor Museum because it brings people in all year. And we've created this really unique app that's going to have a guided museum tour. Just like when you go into a museum and you can put the headphones on and listen, we created that so you can learn all about the artists why the pieces are created and it really helps move people throughout the city which is great for local business as well because it'll bring people in to eat at the local restaurants and shop at the local shops. Yes? <coughs> Since Lake Worth is a vertically challenged city when it comes to buildings, uh, how are we going to, uh, I know downtown West Palm there's you know, all these great murals and things, uh, is there going to be an, an, an emphasis on horizontal structures or whatever for the murals or how's yeah, that going to work? That's a great question. So I think the thing that's really going to set the city of Lake Worth apart from any other city is the fact that there's all these wonderful buildings near the beach and near the water, which is why people come to Florida. So I think it'll be great to attract tourists where they get to have the beach and they get to have art in one place. I mean, that's the best of both worlds in my opinion. Yes. Uh, this is personal to me. I live in Royal Point, Siena, and the CRA is just embarking I'm putting a greenway in on South 5th. Could you utilize part of that and create something for that community? Um, I mean, hopefully eventually. Right now we're you know, working on really creating a <coughs> strong nucleus in the city of Lake Worth because what we've found to be really successful is people walking around a small area so that they don't get lost trying to find all these different areas in the beginning. So the first year we're really trying to condense it to an easy walking area. Are these going to be on publicly owned or privately owned buildings? And what, is this going to be a permanent installation? Will there be funds for maintaining the art murals? Yes, yeah, so that's a great question. So it's going to be a partnership for both private and public. And we're working out all of those details right now. We're thrilled, we're so excited, and thank you so much for the opportunity to bring Canvas 
South Door Museum Show to Lake Work. We know it's going to be extremely successful, and we really appreciate your help and support. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody, welcome. I'm uh, Madeline McHenry, if you don't know who I am. And I am the uh, current chair of the Lake Worth Community View Development Agency, and I'm the first woman to hold that position. I've served on the board since 2011, and I have really witnessed firsthand the impact of the arts and culture in our beautiful city. Uh, working closely with the city, the CRA board has helped attract a prominent cultural council of Palm Beach County to our downtown was a big coup for us. We worked very hard at that. Uh, since that time, the CRA has built live-work housing for artists, created the Lula Lake Worth Arts Program, and redeveloped and underutilized city building west of the tracks into a cultural facility, now known as Hatch. The Lula Program, with support from the council, city, and the community, has produced numerous events, installations, and helped create an identity for the city. These projects, in concert with redevelopment efforts undertaken by the CRA in areas of housing, infrastructure, business, and commercial development that made that worth a prime location for sustainable growth and investment. The city and the CRA continue to lay the groundwork for what will become a unique, authentic experience for both residents and visitors. Over the years, the CRA has helped private property owners paint murals, and we've installed sculptures around the city. Along with the investment in our city, the city and the CRA efforts have led us to a place where an event of this caliber is possible. The Canvas event has proved that multiple efforts by both the CRA, the City, and the Cultural Council have made Lake Worth a unique cultural destination. We are beyond excited and proud to be working with Nicole Henry and Canvas in celebrating art and culture, which are part of the essence of our special city. We hope many more people will visit our city and experience the destination that Lake Worth has become. Thank you.
probably bought this at our neighbor our neighborhood store. We're very proud of the businesses that we share these beautiful streets with, and they bought this this morning at Andy's place, and we're grateful. See, look at this. <laughs>
So uh, this is a very exciting time for us. I'm so pleased to be the mayor and to uh, expand and grow. And we've been through a lot together, all of us, and uh, we're getting better and better each and every day. So I'm very grateful to all of you who continue to bring the arts to this community and to our new chapter with Canvas. Um, as you can tell, for this. Does anyone have any questions? Yeah, questions from the media? Anybody? I, I'm not from the media, but I have a question for you. <laughs> what, what, what can the neighborhood associations, stakeholders, and the such do to help make this even more successful? Participate. <laughs> Be there for all of our different, do you have yeah, any? I do, that's a, that's a great question. Thank you for asking. So one of the things that made Canvas successful in West Palm, and I'm sure will happen here, is that the local businesses really helped out too. Um, all the artists that are here during Canvas, they eat at all the local restaurants, they stay in local housing, they really become part of the community. And so, you know, whatever business owners want to step up and say, you know, one day we'll host the Canvas artists here for lunch or here for dinner, that's really the, the best way that they can help Canvas and the artists. And I think the artists are just going to love coming to Lake Worth because it's an art you know, center, really. And they have um, the ability to make a really big impact here. So they're going to be excited for that opportunity. It's worth noting, most of these artists have large social media following. And yeah. so when they come to Lake Worth businesses and are hanging out here having a great time, they're likely to be tweeting posting. and posting. Yeah, absolutely. So during Canvas last year in the two weeks, we had over 11 million social media impressions just in that two week period. Uh -huh. And that grew exponentially over the year. So, you know, it's just huge the way it just grows and grows. And so especially this year with the lineup that we have, I can't announce who those artists are yet, but it's our biggest and best lineup that we've ever had. It's the giants of the street art world and contemporary art world that are all coming here to do these incredible art installations and create masterpieces for the city. And there's no doubt they'll end up wanting to move here because that's what happens <laughs> when you get here. Especially if you're anywhere involved in art you move and you come here to see something, you are undoubtedly going to end up staying. And we'll recruit you for good. <laughs> Uh, can you talk about any uh, partnership opportunities with local nonprofit organizations, if any? Yeah, definitely. Um, so we have all different types of things. We want to get the community involved as much as possible. We love doing children's programming, and so the artists love to give back to. So if we can talk later um, and you have any ideas, let's brainstorm, because that's really what we're here to do, is to give back to the community and to inspire the future generations. <laughs> We have a lot of great programs within the city of Lakewood with our kids, and I know that they will want to be a part of this. Absolutely. So we're definitely going to work on some programs here locally for that, too. And anything that we can do together, that would be even better. Any others? Well, thank you, everyone, well, for coming. Well, I'm so very grateful. How you chose the weekend that you did, and the fact that it's oh, yeah, that's a, yeah, that's a, basil. That's a great point, and okay. thank you for reminding us of that. <laughs> so um, the reason that we chose the week before, the week that we did was because it's the week before Art Basel. Mm -hmm. So a lot of these artists love to extend and come in a little bit early to create these masterpieces before they head down to Basel. So these are all artists that are showing at Basel and um, all the different shows that are down in Miami. What is the week again that will be here? November 26th through December 2nd. Mm -hmm. And so then right after that they'll head down to Miami. So we'll just plan for you now in a couple of years, whatever it'll be, just you know, Art Basel or El <laughs> Dove. <laughs> Thank you everyone again so much for coming. Please stay and have some breakfast. There's some refreshments over there for your enjoyment. And uh, thank you for supporting and being a part of Lake Worth. We love you all.